Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White The Story of Bethlehem, February 10 For there is born to, to you this day in the city of David a Saviour who is Christ the Lord. Luke chapter 2 verse 11 Heaven and earth are no wider apart today than when shepherds listen to the angels' song. Humanity is still as much the object of the of heaven's solicitude as when the common people of common occupation met angels at noonday and talked with heavenly messengers in the vineyards and fields. To us in the common walks of life heaven may be very near. Angels from the courts above will attend the steps of those who come and go at God's command. The story of Bethlehem is an exhaustless theme. In it is hidden the depths of the riches of both the wisdom and knowledge of God. Romans chapter 11 verse 33. We marvel at the Saviour's sacrifice in exchanging his throne of heaven for the manger and the companionship of adoring angels for the beasts of the storm. Human pride and self-sufficiency stands in rebuke stands rebuke in his presence. Yet this was but the beginning of his wonderful condescension. It would have been an almost infinite humiliation for the Son of God to take human nature even when Adam stood in his innocence in Eden. But Jesus accepted humanity when the race had been weakened by 4,000 years of sin. Like every child of Adam, he accepted the results of working, of the workings of the great law of heredity. What these results were is shown in the history of his earthly ancestors. He came with such a heredity to share, as, to share our sorrows and temptations and to give us an example of a sinless life. Satan in heaven had hated Christ for his position in the courts of God. He hated him more when he himself was dethroned. He hated him who pledged himself to redeem the race of sinners. Yet into the world where Satan claimed his dominion, God permitted his son to come, a helpless babe subject to weakness of humanity. He permitted him to meet life's perils in common with every human soul to fight the battle as every child of, human, of humanity must fight it at the risk of failure and loss. God gave his only begotten son that the path of life might be made sure for our little ones. Herein is love. Wonder, O heaven, and be astonished, O earth. Homeward bound.